Welcome everybody to the T350 show. I'm Jim with Bowden Tactical. This is the BYOAR studio. We'll spend a few minutes here letting our audience build and uh, just do a little chit chat. So uh, turkey season started here yesterday in northern Ohio. It's been in for a couple of weeks in southern Ohio. Um, I don't turkey hunt much anymore. I haven't turkey hunted in a long time. I, I've gone a few times. It just seemed like too much work and, and money to invest for a little bit of reward. But actually, a friend of mine called me the other day and asked me if I wanted to go this weekend. So I may go turkey hunting this weekend. But uh, I know turkey hunting's coming in around the country. Various uh, states have it coming in. Spring turkey's coming in. So uh, if any of y'all out there are turkey hunters, we'd love to see some pictures of your harvest uh, on the BYOAR page or on the AR Architect page. We're always, always looking for good hunting shots and uh, even shots of you at the range, whatever it might be, and uh, sharing some tips and words of wisdom about turkey hunting. I know I'm definitely not an expert at turkey hunting. Like I said, I went a couple times, never got one. Uh, but who knows? I'm going out with a couple guys that n have gone a bunch and they know what they're doing. In fact, I got a, uh, one of my buddies had a Facebook post this morning. He got one this morning. So, uh, who knows? Maybe they can hook me up. So, uh, last week's show, we, uh, talked about gun cleaning and, uh, we had some real good conversation around that. I hope you all enjoyed the, the video that we showed you there. I hope you learned something. Um, last week's sticker package winner for the question of the week was Hayden Thompson. Hayden, we hope you got your sticker pack. We sent that out to you. If uh, you did get it, pop a picture up on the A Architect page and show us where you put your stickers. Uh, this week's question centered around build kits. Um, we had a question, you know, we wanted to see your build kit rifles. If you've ever built a, a rifle from a complete build kit, um, we wanted to see those rifles. And uh, this week's, we're going to give away the sticker. Oh, I moved the sticker package down here. So we're going to give away the sticker package this week for the person that uh, we draw out of those that commented about their uh, build kit rifles. So that segues right into what we're going to talk about today and why we're here today. So we got a really new exciting thing going on at BYOAR. Uh, we've been working on this for uh, it seems like four or six weeks now. Um, it's all finally culminated in the web page. The landing page is up on our website, and we are able to offer full rifle and AR-15 pistol build kits, minus a lower. So you you have to buy your own lower, or supply your own lower, go to your FFL dealer, and uh, pick up a lower. Uh, go through the proper background check, through the proper channels. Um, you know, and there's some good lowers out there. You can go and get an Anderson for about $50. You can get an Arrow for about $70. Uh, you, you step up a little bit, you can get some really good, high quality stuff for around $100. Um, and then you can buy everything else you need from us to completely assemble your, either your AR-15 rifle or your AR-15 pistol. So. We got, uh, we're going to take a look at some of our parts here real quick. Uh, we do have all American made components. We search long and hard. I will be honest with you. The only one I'm not a hundred percent sure of, and we won't advertise it as American made is the pistol brace. Uh, there was no declination of where it was from. And we're not a hundred percent sure that it wasn't made not here in America, so we are not advertising it as such, but everything else, we know where it was made and we can advertise all of these components as made in America. And you can build this rifle right here, as you see, minus the sights, and we are working on getting sights. They're very hard to find right now. Uh, a lot of places are out of stock on a lot of stuff and it's very hard to find these iron sights right now, but I am working on it. So. Um, in our AR-15 rifle kit, you know, we've got everything you need. We've got an upper receiver here, real nice, black anodized, real nice finish. We've got the mil-spec carbine buffer tube kit. Nice little feature. We've got the ambidextrous end plate. So you can either, if you're right hand or left hand, you can hook your single point sling on either side. Uh, we've got 
black nitrided 223 wild, one and eight twist barrels, pre-dimpled for the gas block. So when you put the gas block on, you don't have to worry about gas block timing. Tighten it down into the dimpled hole and it lines up automatically. Um, lower parts kit, all made in America. Bolt carrier group, all black nitrided, real nice, smooth finish, cleans up real nice. All American made, MPI tested. And uh, your options, you get to have a couple of options with this kit. You can choose your handguard, either the 15 inch A Architect handguard or the 13 inch A Architect handguard. And then you can choose your muzzle device. We have the our version of the A2 flash hider. This is a real nice flash hider. I've got one on my 350 uh, Legend, and this thing really is nice for mitigating muzzle rise. The The control I had with the 350 was excellent. Uh, it funnels the blast upward. You can see there's four ports per six slots. So we got 24 ports in there to bust up that flash and it does a really great job of busting up the flash and mitigating muzzle rise. We've got our standard four port brake, which also does a nice job of mitigating rise through the holes in the top and mitigating recoil. And then we've got a flash can, which doesn't do anything for recoil or rise, but pushes all that sound and concussion down away from the shooter. So as part of our uh, pistol kit, we've obviously, we talked about our pistol brace. Uh, we've got the pistol buffer tube, which does come with a foam pad on the end. The foam pad is removable and this slides right on. You can keep the foam pad on and use it as a as a cheek rest or a shoulder rest or you can put the the, bra the blade on there either either your option uh, pistol length gas tube here and our pistol barrels are also these are 556 five, by 45 one and seven twists and they're also dimpled for gas block alignment so we uh, we went through a lot of pains to make sure we got good stuff and that uh, we got easy stuff to work with and easy stuff to install so that's uh, a little overview of our parts. Um, so I want to show you real quick our website so you uh, can see when you go to BYOAR.com, okay, you're going to log in on BYOAR.com and you're going to see some tabs that says build your AR. And you're going to click on one of those and then you get your option of an AR rifle or an AR pistol. And you click on the AR rifle, start your AR-15 rifle build. This is kind of a cool feature here. We got little, you can see each individual picture. There's a rifle here and it's got what we call hot spots. And you hover over them and it tells you what the hot spot is. And when you click on it, you get a picture of that component. Kind of cool. You get to see every little piece up close and personal before that's all part of the base kit. Okay, so you come down here and this is what's in the base kit. You know, upper receiver, upper parts kit, barrel, bolt carrier group, gas tube with roll pin, gas block, butt stock kit, and lower parts kit. Okay, and then you start into your options. You choose your handguard. You want a 13 inch or a 15 inch. We'll put a 15 inch handguard in there. Select your muzzle device. We'll put a muzzle brake in there. Then you got your options. Do you want a toolkit? We have a complete toolkit for $139. It's every tool you need to build an AR, except for a vise, a bench vise, and maybe like a hammer and a pair of needle nose pliers. And that's $139. You can add one of those to the cart, and then you can go and get yourself a range bag for $39.95 and add one of those to the cart. And I'm gonna show you those range bags in a minute. They are really nice. So for $622.95, you get a complete build kit. You get all the tools you need to do the build and you get a bag to take your gun back and forth to the range. You add that to your cart and you go through the checkout process. Free shipping, uh, this says enter your address to view shipping but it's over the hundred and twenty five dollars obviously you'll pay sales tax it's six hundred sixty five dollars out the door for everything and that again includes your entire build kit minus a lower 
a tool kit and the range bag and you can do the same thing with the pistol. The pistol actually works out to be just a few dollars cheaper than that because the brace is a little more expensive, but the handguard is a little less expensive. So it works out to be about $10, $15 cheaper for the pistol build. So really excited about this, uh, being able to offer complete kits. Like, like I said, we've been working at this for, it seems like a couple of months now anyway. It's just a really cool opportunity to be able to, we see a lot of guys on the AR Architect page and the uh, National AR Builders Forums, you know, and the new guy wants to come in and he wants to build a rifle, but he doesn't want to spend a ton of money. He's not ready to dive in all the way and spend a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars. You know, he wants to get his feet wet and he wants to spend about five, six hundred dollars building his first rifle. And that's what we went after was that market those guys we want to help those guys and we're going to be here every step of the way once you buy one of these kits you know you're going to you can email us you can call us if you run into problems we're going to be doing something really cool um, we haven't worked out the logistics of it totally yet but we want to do zoom meeting build alongs we want to do build along clinics so you can buy one of these kits even if you don't buy a kit from us, you can, you know, for a fee, you can come in and get, get in part of the Zoom meeting. Um, and we're gonna build a rifle on camera and you'll be able to see us and we're gonna walk through building a rifle step-by-step step, and you can build your rifle right along with us step-by-step. Step, and we'll be there to help guide you. We can stop, ask questions, answer questions, whatever we need to do to have you come out the other end of the process with a complete rifle. So. We, like I said, we haven't quite worked out all the logistics on that yet, but that is something we're definitely going to do. Um, we talked about doing it at various gun shows, being able to build rifles at gun shows. And uh, obviously we can't do gun shows now because there's no gun shows going on with the coronavirus. You can see I got my little mask around my neck. So when I go out on the floor, we have a, a mask protocol here in Ohio now. So when I'm around other people, I have to wear a mask. But, uh, we're, you know, it, the whole process is just really exciting. I, I'm really looking forward to launching this, getting this thing launched off, and then getting these Zoom meetings going and, and having some fun with that. That's actually going to be fun, uh, teaching other people how to build rifles. And, you know, I, I went to a bunch of different places when I was building my first one. I went to a bunch of different forums. I went to YouTube. I went to all these different places, and I had to watch a video and stop the video and do my thing and then go back and rewind it and make see what I missed. And, you know, it, it I got the job done, but, you know, this build-along thing is going to be so nice. About an hour, hour and a half, we're going to walk you through, a group of you through building your own rifle. It's going to be really cool. So uh, it, we talked about that range bag, you know, and I wanted to show you guys our range bag that we were able to get for you for $39.95. You got four magazine pouches here, completely adjustable. These come out and then slide back in 20, 30, 40 round magazines. Doesn't matter what you got. You got an extra bag here for some boxed ammo, padded shoulder strap. You know, this thing stretches out real long and you can swing it right up over your back. Just a, a really nice, and these are made by Savior. Uh, I think Caleb Casterjohn turned us on to these when we did our uh, gun case show. He was talking about these Savior cases and how much he liked them. And now I see why. You know, I for thirty nine ninety five, I, I paid that much for one that I'm nowhere near as impressed with as I am this one. This is just a really nice bag for that money. And this will fit a standard collapsible stock. AR-15. If you have a fixed stock and a long barrel, this case won't work for you. This is for a standard 16-inch collapsible stock AR-15 rifle. So, uh, don't forget about the tool kits. You know, we got those. Um, oh yeah, the uh, handguard contest we did on the AR Architect page. We ran a handguard contest. We started last Friday. We hit 500 members, and uh, when he said, we said when we got 500 members, we were going to do a handguard giveaway, any handguard in inventory, and uh, Martin Jones won the handguard, um, and you know, I, I, I looked him up when he won, and I saw where he was from. He's from Texas, and I said, you know what? 
I bet you $100 that guy's going to get the Texas Edition handguard. And sure enough, I talked to him today, and that's exactly what he wants. And uh, he's building a 500 Beowulf, and he's going to outfit it with this beautiful Lone Star Texas handguard. Four-color Cerakote, battle-worn, engraved with the Texas logo. Got the stars, and it's got the Lone Star. Just a beautiful handguard. Really excited to see him get that finished and, and see some pictures of that rifle. So we'll get that in the mail to you tomorrow, Martin. So we're always, uh, oh yeah, so the... Um, the deal this week is, you know, with this new product we're launching, uh, we're going to give you $15 off either one of the build kits, either the rifle or the pistol. And all you need is coupon code YOURAR15, Y-O-U-R-A-R-15. You plug that in at the end of the checkout process, it's going to take $15 off your entire purchase. Um, so we're talking about building, right? And I want to give you guys a quick little free tip. All my tips are free, but what the hell, we call it a free tip. So, question. How many of you have ever launched a spring and detent pin when you were putting in your front pivot pin? Right? We've all done it. I saw a guy do this a while back, and I tried it a couple times, and I'm like, this is the greatest thing since sliced white bread. I'm going to show you how to install the spring, the detent pin, and the pin with no tools, no razor blades, no credit cards, nothing except these fingers and the parts. And I'm going to do it in about 30 seconds and I'm not going to launch the pin. Watch. Uh, <laughs> I'll launch the pin this time. I've done it a half a dozen times here. So you slide in the spring. You lay the detent up there where it goes in and you use the pin itself with the slot facing up, kind of wrap your fingers here, use the pin to push it in, rotate it down, and there it is. That fast. And I didn't launch a pin. Isn't that cool? <laughs> can't do it, can't do it again. I gotta take the whole thing apart. But really cool way to put in the front pivot pin without launching anything. Uh, I thought that was the greatest thing, you know. So next time I've seen a bunch of guys talk about in the forums about launching that, losing pins, losing springs, um, just struggling with getting that front pin in, and you don't have to. It's very, very simple. I mean, you just – and I really went slow, you know. I could have done that in about 10 or 15 seconds. So just a free little building tip of the week. So, again, don't forget uh, – Till Sunday night, $15 off, coupon code YOURAR15 gets you $15 off either one of our build kits. And, uh, you know, we're, again, we're really excited about this. You know, it's our belief you, nobody has to be an expert to build their own AR-15. Nobody has to be an expert to upgrade their AR-15, maintain it, whatever. Um, you don't have to be an expert. We're here to provide you everything you need from parts, tools, knowledge, advice, whatever we can do to help get people into the sport. That's what we're here to do. Uh, next week's show, we're going to talk about rifle barrels, twist rates, and ammo selection. We're going to do some explanation about what twist rate, what twist rate is. Wow, that's a tongue twister. We're going to talk about what twist rate is, uh, why it's important to your ammo selection, and what ammo you should select for different applications, whether you're hunting, uh, range plinking, whatever it might be. So uh, remember, you don't have to be an expert to build your own AR. We're here to help. And uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys next week. Take care.